Hi there. This is Vince of VincePrep.com and Agos Consulting. Clients are often confused by the question, what's your greatest weakness? And I've been thinking a lot about this question over the years, and I wanted to give what I think is a bad answer and what I think is a, is, is a relatively good answer. And these are my answers, and I hope you don't, um, I don't really think you should, well, you should never cop, you, you should always be yourself. So I'm going to give away my stuff because I think it doesn't necessarily apply to you. Um, I used to say, my greatest weakness is time management, and it's still one of my weaknesses, but I actually think I've gotten much, much better at it. So I've got a handle on time management now, and so I wouldn't say that anymore. And also, it's somewhat dangerous because it's, I don't, I, I wouldn't want to give the impression that it's something I can't control, um, and it is something I do control. And at MBA or at graduate school, if I was really, really helplessly out of control with time management, I wouldn't really make a very good teammate. I wouldn't be reliable as a collaborator um, if I couldn't manage uh, time. And it's also, it, yeah, it's so I think that would not be a good one to share at an interview. Um, and especially in my case, because it's something I've been very consciously working on for the last 15 years. And I know since I've moved to Japan, I've gotten much, much better at time management. What I think would, in my case, would be a better answer, and at this point is something I'm actually setting as a sort of New Year's resolution for myself, is if you ask me what's your greatest weakness, I would say I typically try to avoid playing games that I don't think I can win. Sort of, I'm a competitive person by nature, and... Um, I typically like a lot of people who like to be successful in life or in school or whatever. I tend to gravitate towards things that I think I can be good at, and I tend to avoid uh, things that I um, am not sure I'll be very good at or things that I know will be very difficult for me. So I'm trying uh, actively. One example is Japanese language. I'm, I don't think I'll ever be the best uh, non-Japanese guy living in Japan uh, in terms of my Japanese language skill, but I'm actually absolutely improving every day. And so the reason I think this would be a good answer for an interview um, for an MBA program or a graduate school or even for a job is that it demonstrates a sort of growth mindset, a sort of an awareness um, that, you know, most of my life I've typically avoided uh, activities which I think I couldn't, you know, be good at. I, I would say games, but I don't literally always mean games like sports uh, or cards or something. But um, I'm really trying to embrace uh, trying new games, trying new activities, things I'm not very good at. And another ex So my daily example is Japanese language. Another example um, is I'm going to go snowboarding next, next month for the first time. My son's never been snowboarding. Um, neither have I, and I'll, <laughs> I may regret it. Um, but you know, finally at, at, at this age, I'm going to give it a shot. And so there's another example, a sort of small personal example, um, professional, I guess would be Japanese or something else like that. Cause I do use Japanese in my work because I manage a team, uh, that includes Japanese folks who are of course, much more comfortable speaking Japanese. And I want to understand them, uh, and be able to communicate to them in Japanese when necessary. So a professional example would be my Japanese language skills. I'm using an app every single day, uh, giving me motivation to track my progress. And my personal example would be, yeah, something new. I, I don't think I'm going to be the world's greatest snowboarder. Um, I'll probably eventually go back to skiing, which I already know how to do. But to, to motivate my son and also to challenge myself, I'm going to go up there on the slopes and, and fall down for a day and see if I can get any better at it. All right, this is my, just my, my quick answer. I just wanted to share examples. Whenever I have a chance, I love making videos like this one, um, you know, in the hopes that my answers would would, would spur your uh, creativity and your own thought process. As always, um, su subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know when I make these uh, videos. I do them every chance I get. That's going to be all for now. Thanks again for watching. Best of luck with interviews, with applications, and with life, whatever it is you're trying to get done. I hope you get it done uh, quickly and with skill and quality and, and a sense of achievement. Bye for now. Thanks again.